find the sum of the counting numbers from 1 to 25 including the endpoints 1 and 25. In other words, if we denote S as the sum of the first 25 counting numbers or the first 25 natural numbers, we need to compute the value of this sum S. Before we look at the solution to this specific problem, I'm going to tell you a popular story. The year is 1786 and the place is Brunswick, a town in Germany, shown here on the map. A young boy, nine years of age, who is born into a poor family, was sitting in his elementary school classroom. His math teacher, who wanted to keep all the boys busy for some time, gave them an arithmetic problem to work on. The problem was to add up the first hundred natural numbers. So the problem was to compute the sum of the first hundred natural numbers. So all the boys started working on the problem by adding up the numbers one by one. One plus two is three, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15 and so on. But barely had the rest of the class added up the first few numbers when our young boy walks up to the teacher's desk and gives him the answer, 5050. The teacher must have been incredibly surprised. Now a young boy wasn't a magician who could add up these numbers at breathtaking speeds. His mind had noticed a pattern. Instead of adding these numbers one by one left to right, suppose you add 1 to 100, 2 to 99, 3 to 98 and so on. You can notice that each of these pairs of numbers adds up 101. 1 plus 100 is 101. 2 plus 99 is 101. 3 plus 98 is also 101 and so on. Now how many such pairs are there? Because there are a total of 100 numbers, there would be 50 such pairs that you can form. And each of those pairs adds up to 101. So the total would be 50 times 101, which can be written as 50 times 100 plus 1, which is 5000 plus 50, and that's the answer that we just saw, 5050. So here's an equivalent way of saying the same thing. If you take the original sum S, Let's write it down again, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on till 100. Here the numbers are in increasing order. So suppose we rewrite this same series in decreasing order. So we write 100 first, then 99, 98 and so on. Three and 1. Now what you will find is that these numbers align up in pairs such that each pair adds up to 101. So if you add these two numbers up on the left hand side you get 2 times s is equal to 101 plus 101 plus 101 and so on all the way to the very end. How many such terms are there? Well, there were a hundred numbers so there would be a hundred instances of this number 101. So this would be 100 times 101. So if you want to compute S, S would be 
100 times 101 divided by 2, which is 50 times 101. And that's what we computed to be 5050. Now, if you were blown away by the elegance of this solution, you won't be alone. The boys' teachers were blown away to the extent that they admitted that there was nothing more that they could teach this boy. This boy grew up to become one of the greatest mathematicians of modern times. People nickna nicknamed him as the prince of mathematicians. His name was Carl Gauss. As you continue studying mathematics, and to some extent even physics, you're going to find it impossible to escape his name. He has made so many fundamental contributions.